What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm just like you, like I'm tired. I'm completely out of it, right? I just cannot stop seeing people commenting on the whole Jada Pinkett situation, right? Now I had a conversation with you guys yesterday as I was walking through different parts of downtown. Right now I'm in Greek town um, and it's pretty quiet considering, right? Because uh, you got the Greek town casino that's literally right there, right? And everybody over in a uh, Greek town casino, Motor City and MGM is allegedly striking, right? So there, then you got the people mover that's walking, going behind me. All of the casino workers, they've been saying that they was gonna strike for a long time. I don't know what the contract details are. Uh, maybe I'll deep dive into that on the Millionaire Morning Show or something like that, but uh, that is to come. It's a very interesting time right now because we keep being bombarded by everything that is happening in social media with regard to women destroying men. And I cannot understand it for the life of me. And one thing that I was trying to figure out for a long time was, and I think that we all was trying to figure this out is, why is Will so dedicated to her? And we all speculated about it the same way that we've been speculating for an extended period of time about the state of their relationship and all of this different stuff, right? And we say, oh, okay, well, she must got something on him. She must know some secrets. Or he must have did something too, and so on and so forth, right? But then it, it just hit me. And the minute that it just hit me, it's almost like, you know how when you, um, <laughs> you know how when you say something out loud in your phone and then automatically it seems like the algorithm starts recommending it to you on the, on uh, YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or an ad shows up or something like that. It was kind of like that, right? And I, I'm scrolling through and I'm not buying this chick's book because I guess it got released today. But she said one of the reasons why they're never getting divorced is because Will Smith never got a prenuptial agreement. The dumbest thing that I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, this is not a situation where she helped him build or he was never going to be anything without her or she held him down or anything like that. This is a situation where Will was already Will and Will was willing way before Jada became Jada in his life. Will was already willing. Don't sit here and talk to me about her career or how good she was doing or any of that. She wasn't. She was never even remotely contributing in a way that Will Smith was contributing to popular culture, had the business acumen that he has, or was moving the way that he was moving. And so when we start to think about that and when we start to play that out, right, you have to start asking yourself the question. And we've been asking ourselves the question, why is he allowing for this to happen? Why is he almost supporting it? Well, it just seems like it's a cheaper to keeper type of situation, right? You know what? I'm going to walk inside a Greek town casino. I'm going to walk in, into one of the entrances and see what the vibes is. Because I know that they were striking over by Motor City. I know they were striking over by Motor City Casino based off of what I was seeing on the news. But we'll see how that plays out. But we all been trying to figure that out for an extended period of time. Yeah, they must be striking down there. I'm going to have to go and see what is happening. I see the news truck over here. News truck is right there. They must be striking. Let me see if Greek Town is shut down. But that's why. That's one of the reasons why. And now it's being picked up by multiple different sources that Will never got a prenuptial agreement. Now, I've always thought that Will Smith was like, he too smart. He planning this out. He taking care of business. He on top of things. You know what I'm saying? He doing what he doing, so on and so forth, right? No way in the world would I ever think that Will Smith is a person that is in a position to where he would not have a prenuptial agreement considering that he was what he was before he actually married her and he was already the man he was already popping he was already a movie star he was already the fresh prince of bel-air and all of that stuff never in a million years are they striking oh okay but it, the, the casino is still open though right oh, okay cool thank you um so they striking but the casino is still open, so I don't know how that works. The casinos make the majority of their money off the slot machines anyway, so they probably got enough workers to keep it moving. I'm wondering how this is gonna play out. That's very interesting. But Will was already Will before Jada came into the picture, 
And so I'm not really sure why, why they even in that position in the first place. It is the weirdest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. But let this be a lesson to you. Never put yourself in a position to where you're going to be held hostage in your own relationship. Always in every situation, whether it's a relationship, whether you're talking about business, when you're in your professional agreements, when you're not operating from a position of power, what happens is you then are subjected to what other people are saying that you have to do. It's the same thing that happens in your regular job. If you are at your regular job, right? And let's say that they're now requesting or requiring for you to move a certain way or whatever. I'll give you a perfect example. It's a lot of people that are now being required to go into work as is normal. It's a lot of people that's being required to go into work now. And so what happens is they either have to operate on a hybrid schedule or they've adjusted their whole lifestyle to be a certain way. Sorry about the little blow. He blowing the leaves over there. They adjusting it. How you doing? They adjusting their lifestyle to be a certain way. And so now they subject it to whatever it is that people tell them that they have to do because they don't have any other options. Now, me on the other hand, one of my biggest problems right now is I'm trying to figure out how much longer, and you know I've been talking about this on, hey, how you doing? I've been talking about this on um, the Millionaire Morning Show for a while. One of my biggest problems is I can't leave corporate America because they've made it so cushy for me because I have options and they know I have options and they know that I'm willing to walk away regardless of how much money that they pay me. And they pay me an egregious amount of money. A lot of the people that's on the Patreon, you know how much money I make and I make even more than when the last time that I showed you. If you wanna see my W-2s, if you wanna see my bank account, wanna see the type of money I make, more than welcome to join the Patreon. We're gonna be in DC for the meetup. That location is inside of the Patreon and I'm planning on doing a live stream very, very soon. Uh, Cause you know, we gotta get deeper into the money on things that I can't necessarily talk about um, here on these live streams or on these videos. But again, because I'm operating with leverage and I don't need you and my services are highly sought after, even in the corporate America space, I never even applied for the position. They recruited me, right? They recruited me and they even tapped in with somebody that um, I used to be, you know, have a, and I still got a really great relationship with. He's not even at the company anymore. And then they're spending a, an egregious amount of money even to keep me because they know that I'm operating in a position of power. When you operating with leverage and power, then you make the best decisions and you're not operating under duress to where you can then have a woman, for example, like a Jada, that then can do whatever it is that they want to do whenever they want to do it. This was literally just built. They built it from the top down. This uh, building right here, so they, I don't know how they constructed it. It was the first time that I ever seen anything like this, but they literally built it from the top down. It's residences. And I think it's open for occupancy now. So that's very interesting. So maybe I'll tour that one day. But yeah, that's one of the new residences that literally just opened. They still built in the lobby and everything like that. So it's interesting. But it's the same thing with relationships. When you operating, from a position of power, then you can make better decisions and you're no longer being held hostage in your own relationship, in your job, in your businesses, or anything like that. I was talking to somebody today and I was telling them, hey, stop. Life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. And he was telling me about how, you know, somebody had did something to him and then he went off and now he don't know what the situation is or whatever, so on and so forth. And I'm like, fam, why are you not controlling the narrative? The minute that you lose power and the minute that you give your power over to somebody else is when you at somebody else's mercy and you can't determine your own fate. It's the same thing with, the, yo, it's no reason why he shouldn't have a, a prenuptial agreement. It's no reason why um, you guys shouldn't have more options as far as your job. And if you're not forcing people to compete for your attention, for your services, for being able to move how you wanna move in society, you always gonna be at somebody else's mercy. I don't care what happens. I'm always gonna be good. I'm always gonna be fine. I'm gonna be even more successful regardless of the circumstances if that's the way things play out and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you think that 
this is one of the reasons why she feels compelled and that he may even be in on uh, her toxicity based off of the fact that he don't have a prenuptial agreement. Maybe they making money off of this and their brand is solid enough to where he don't feel like he gonna take a hit as a result of it. Or, or do you think that it's something else? Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm out, man.